When you're mixing colors, select the lightest color first and then gradually add the darker color to that. Use a popsicle stick for blending the colors or mixing the colors. If you use your brush for mixing the colors, your brush will become too full of paint to actually work well. You will think that you're not painting well, but it will be your brush. This is not a very good brush that I have, but it is all that I have, so I'll work with it. When you want to get a good, clean edge to your painting or to a shape, have the bristles of the brush facing the edge. Turn your canvas around so it's easier for you to do this. That's how you get a straight line or an edge in a shape. Use your reference so you can see where the color that you're painting changes from lighter to darker areas. Your painting will be more successful when you see these lighter and darker areas of the same color. That's called a value. Right now, I'm putting in the darker yellow, which I'm using for my white, in Lulu's face. When you recharge your brush with more paint, take it from the edge of the paint dollop. That way your paint will always be pure in the center and mixed on the sides. I've noticed in my reference where the white on Lulu's chest fades from light to dark. One of the easier ways to blend two colors together is to put the two colors next to each other. You have a darker color and a lighter color. While both these colors are wet, rinse your brush, wipe it out on the paper towel, and then mix the two colors together. This will give you a gradual fading from dark to light. Paint the bottom of the sink under the running water until the bristles run clear. Then get a little soap on your brush, push the soap through the bristles, and rinse the brush again under the running water. Take a sponge and wipe down the sink. Don't forget to squeeze the water out of the sponge when you put it back. Tip the brush by pressing the bristles together and put it upright in the container. 